So, Miss McCarthy arranged three times six desks in a rectangular shape in her classroom. How might Miss McCarthy describe the arrangement of desks in her classroom? All right, so three times six. If we want to make this a rectangular shape, that will probably look like an array. Okay, and with arrays, the first factor, the three, would be how many you're going down, and the second factor, the six, would be how many you're going across. So we would have one, two, three going down, already have one, two, three, four, five, six, making sure it's nice and even, and if you do it right, it should look like a rectangle. Sorry if the glare is a little bit light on there, but you get the gist. Let me see if I can fix it. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Okay. Um, so here we go. But the question is saying, how might Miss McCarthy describe the arrangement of desks in her room, her classroom? This is an open response question, question guys. So what needs to go in this box is an open response. It's sentences that you have to do to answer this question. So um, one word of caution. Do you notice how my work did not go inside of this box? The only thing that goes inside of this box is your answer. So now I'm about to answer it. Okay, so let me see. This would be a good way to answer it. Miss McCarthy, try to write small. Could describe the arrangement as, oops, as three rows. Of course, if I had an eraser, I wouldn't leave it at that, but as three rows of desks with six desks in each row. This would, oh, I'm getting close, would mean a total of 18 desks, period. Now, I added another sentence in there to show the product, the total amount of desks. You could do that, but I think that if you just said that it would be three rows with six desks, desks in each, that would suffice. So there's example one. Everybody, now we're ready for example two. Jack had 48 apples to place an equal number in baskets. So I'm picturing 48 apples that we need to put in baskets and have an equal number in each. Which sentence, I'm gonna box that too, could Jack use to describe how the apples were placed? So here, this is a multiple choice, which is different than a multi-select question. And I know it's only one answer, well, first of all, because there's four answer choices. And second of all, the question just tells me to find which sentence. So, which sentence describes how they were placed? So, what we're seeing is he has 48 apples and he wants to put an equal number into baskets. So we're taking those 48 apples and we're dividing them into baskets. Okay, so let me look. Jack placed four apples in each of eight baskets. So if I have four apples within each of eight baskets, that would be four times eight, which equals 32, and that's not 48, so that's wrong. Jack placed 48 apples in each of eight baskets, so that would be 40 apples in each of eight baskets, which would be 320 apples total, and I only have a total of 48 apples. All right. Jack placed six apples in each of eight baskets. So that would be six apples in each of eight baskets, which equals 48, and boom. 
That is my answer. But I'm going to make sure with this last one that I'm on the right track. So that's why I'm putting a question mark there. Jack placed eight apples in each of four baskets. So each eight apples in each of four baskets. Eight times four is 32. That is wrong. So this is our correct one. And I'm just going to circle C. Oh, so here's example three. And as you notice, this is a table item. So the I'm going to put my answers inside of my table. Trisha arranges 24 pennies on her desk. She will place the pennies in rows. So now that I'm seeing rows, I know that I have a total and I'm dividing them into rows. So I know it's going to be sort of like division. Each is a keyword usually for multiplication or division. Each row will have the same number of pieces. Just do the same number. All right, and I don't have a question, but I have a statement here. Directions telling me what to do, so I'm going to underline that. Complete the table to show three. I'm going to circle that because it's a number. Three different designs Trisha could create. So she has 24 pennies, and she has to divide them into rows, and we have to figure out how many in each row. So I got to get three different. So here's my table. I got numbers a row. Numbers of ro number of rows and number of pennies in each row. So when I see 24, right away I think, well, hey, she could have one row with 24 in it. That would be 24. She could have two rows with 12 in it, which would equal 24. Um, just a word to the wise, this one goes outside of the third grade limits, but I think that they would count that as the correct answer. Usually we only do 10, up to 10 times 10. Um, 3, I could do 3 times 8 equals 24, so 3 rows with 8 in each row. I could do 4 times 6 equals 24. Um, and then I could start doing the commutative, changing the order properties of each. So 6 times 4 equals 24. I could do 8 times 3 equals 24. 12 times 2 equals 24. Or 24 rows with 1 in each row. So that's what I could, those are my possible answers. I'm just going to pick a couple now to place in my chart. Did I have to do all of this? No, it's just all of them. So now I'm just going to pick a couple, put them in my chart. So how many rows? Let's say I do three rows with eight pennies in each. That would be this one. I'm going to do four rows with six pennies in each. That would be this one. And I'm going to do the commutative property there. Six rows with four pennies in each. And that would get me the correct answer. Quattro! Ooh, word problem. Got to use my cubes. Roberto has five times six juice boxes. Roberto should describe his arrangement of five packs of juice boxes with how many juice boxes in each pack? How many juice, juice boxes? I don't know why I can't talk today. How many juice boxes were in each pack? All right, so... <clears throat> This is an equation editor question, which is different than an open response. An open response question is looking for you to respond to the question using sentences, um, answering whatever the question is. An equation editor is going to give you this big old huge box, but you don't have to write a whole lot in there. You just have to answer the question. So the question is, how many juices were in each pack? So let me model it out. Let me evaluate it. All right, so he has five times six juice boxes. All right, this would be five packs because this is our groups with six juices in each. Okay, some of you might think, boom, I answered the question. But no, you did not because you left this box open. Make sure you're figuring, they didn't just give you this box for nothing. You got to put it in there. They want the answer in that box. So how many juices were in six pack? In each pack, sorry. You should say six juices. I think even six would be okay. So this question right here looks very wordy. There's a lot of sentences. It actually is not that difficult, but you really do need to break it down. 
So you notice right here that this type of question is a multi-select question. That means there's more than one answer. And really, I think it might need to say here which sentences could a mod use, because because we that's a that's a typo on my part. So I'm sorry. Um, if your worksheet says that, go ahead and fix it and make it which sentences. And we have five answer choices. So let's do this. He has 36 pieces of candy. He wants to give an equal amount to each of his friends. Which sentences could Ahmad use to describe how the candy was distributed? So he has 36 pieces that he wants to give away. He wants to divide to his friends. We don't know how many friends, but that's what we're looking for. We're looking for which scenario looks like the one that we need. So Ahmad, we want 36 pieces divided into something. Ahmad gave three pieces to each of his six friends. So that would be three pieces to each of his six friends. That would equal 18 pieces total. We want something that equals 36, so that is incorrect. Ahmad gave six pieces of candy. Here you go, to six friends. An equal amount to everybody. Six times six is 36. That would be a reasonable answer. C, Ahmad gave nine pieces of candy, whoa, to each of four friends. That would equal 36 too. So it looks so far like we have two answers. Ahmad gave 30 pieces of candy to each of his six friends. That would be three times six is 18. Add the zero is 180. Too many pieces. It says he only has 36. Last one. Ahmad gave four pieces of candy to each of his nine friends. That's just the commutative property from this guy right here. 4 times 9 equals 36. That looks good. So we want this one. We want 9 times 4, and we want 6 times 6. For multi-select, you need to make sure that you answer all of the correct answer choices in order to get that point. So read carefully. Cheese! All right, that's the end of this video, y'all. But before you go, of course, i got to leave you with an inspirational message. So here it is for today. Do the right thing even when nobody's watching. I promise it'll take you down an awesome path in life.